make money and I want the numbers. And me, as a label, as a, as a label board, as a songwriter, if this is the area, I mm. think I can make my money or people can dance to you. Okay. Don't you love the song that I'm writing? It's, so it is purely business when you decide to write sexually explicit songs and have, suggestive songs have, and then you actually turn around and make it look like the, I, we, we have a bad mind. I, I have no song that is like uh, sexually explicit or like... S suggestive, that's suggestive, what I mean. Yeah. You see, it depends on where you stand or how, how you see this, how you see it because I don't know the... I know artists... So you know that you and, I know artists, write songs like that? I know artists mm -hmm. that if they want to say, let's say the 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 video, what they will say it, if uh -huh. they, whatever. But I don't do that. Like I don't do it. There's no son of mine that I wrote that you can tell me. Bullet said this. In, in it's your mind. Like, yeah, but my point is, do you always have to write songs that are suggestive like that? Listen to uh, a bunny song like uh, Concerned Police. It's not sexually suggestive as you guys think. Uh, a whole lot of songs. Listen to when they say song, some 35, mm. a new song all for you. It's, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one song I'll listen to then. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs>